Innovis Technologies, a global leader in LiDAR sensor and perception software for autonomous driving, is to be listed on NASDAQ through a business combination with Collective Growth Corporation, ticker symbol CGRO. The new combined company will be listed under the ticker symbol INVZ. The transaction is sponsored by Antara Capital and Perception Capital Partners. The hot stock market has generated a rush for private companies to go public using the route of SPACs. Innovis will be joining the ranks of market leader Velodyne, the recent blockbuster Luminar Technologies and EVA as another LiDAR company to be listed on the NASDAQ. In this video, we will take a deep dive look at the LiDAR technology and the company background of Innovis Technologies. We will take a look at the behind the scene partners in Innovis. We will look at the merger transaction details and the share structure of the new business combination. In the end, we will try to come up with a valuation for the company. So please watch the entire video so you can get all the details for this extremely exciting stock to make debut for retail investors. Hi, I'm Arshad Ahmed, founder of DIYStockPicker.com, an investment portal dedicated to help investors make intelligent decisions. This video is for information purposes. Please do your due diligence before making any investment decisions. I have started a Patreon group where I'm sharing my IRA portfolio and buy-sell transaction details and also providing stock market investing coaching. I'll put the link in the description below and I hope you'll join the group. I will be releasing videos weekly on growth stocks and EV stocks. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any updates. So here's a look at the company background. Innovis Technologies was founded in 2016 by a group of intelligence corp veterans from Unit 81 of the Israeli Defense Forces. This Unit 81 is the most prestigious technological unit in IDF. Founder and CEO Umar Khelaf has grown the company globally to 280 employees and raised $251 million of funding to date. Innovis is the global provider of LiDAR sensors and perception software for autonomous vehicles. The company is trying to bring LiDAR sensors and perception software at a price that will be conducive for mass production of LiDAR sensors for autonomous vehicles. The perception software complements the hardware with advanced AI and machine learning based classification, detection and tracking features. The company is headquartered in Tel Aviv, Israel. Let's take a look at the manufacturing partners of Innovis. Innovis has partnered with Magna International to bring the LiDAR to market. This meets the stringent requirements of automotive OEMs robotaxi companies and the tier 1 suppliers. In addition to Magna International, Innovis has established several partnerships with other leading tier 1 automotive suppliers such as Harman, Aptiv and Hyrain which is active in China. These partners are some of the most influential companies in the automotive industry and have extensive experience with driver assistance and autonomous driving systems. The company has focused on the consumer vehicle market. This is expected to account for two thirds of the total addressable market for LiDAR. The use of autonomous use cases like robotaxis and delivery drones are at least eight to 10 years away. So the LiDAR companies have to target type one and type two ADAS, automated driver assistance systems to sort of navigate their way until full autonomous use cases hit the market. BMW chose Innovis Solid State LiDAR Sensor Innovis 1 sourced and manufactured by Magna International to develop its LiDAR for series production. Their products are also certified by Tier 1 manufacturing partners. The company has 17 granted patents and 66 in process. These are in areas of system architecture, perception algorithms, LiDAR algorithms, lasers, etc. Let's take a look at the SPAC sponsors. Mr. Bruce Linton is the CEO of Collective Growth Corporation. He was the founder and former chairman of Canopy Growth Corporation, where he led over 31 acquisitions and $6 billion of capital raises. Mr. Himanshu Gulati is the founder and CIO of Antara Capital Limited Partners. They are a hedge fund that specializes in event-driven credit and special situation investing. Perception Capital Partners are led by Scott Honor and James Sheridan, who have more than 30 years experience in investing in technology companies. Let's take a look at the product offering of the company. Innovis One is their first offering of the LiDAR sensor. The price tag for this sensor is suitable for level three through level five of autonomous driving. However, the company came up with a next generation Innovis Two sensor, 
which realizes a 70% cost reduction. This is suitable for level 2 through level 5 of autonomous driving. This will result in a mass adaption of Innovis 2 sensor since auto manufacturers will be able to add it and sell it as an extension to customers. The interesting thing to note is that the update from level 2 through level 3 LiDAR is through a software update. This does not require any new hardware purchase. This can be done over the air. The way this works is that the LiDAR sensor is fitted as an L2 sensor. As the vehicle is driven, the data is collected and validated. This helps Innovis to mature their perception software. As the miles driven collectively reach more than a billion, they can get certified by their tier 1 and automotive partners and switch to an L3 sensor through a software update. Here's a look at the merger transaction details. Proforma implied equity value of approximately $1.4 billion. $350 million cash to balance sheet to fund the growth of the company. Transaction includes $150 million of cash held in trust and an immediate $200 million pipe financing led by Antara Capital and includes strategic investments from Magna International, Innovis Tier 1 partner, Phoenix Insurance and other institutional investors. The deal is set to complete in the first quarter of 2021. Following completion of the transaction, all Innovis existing shareholders retain stake in the company. Here's a look at the share structure. Total shares outstanding of 140 million, 71% existing Innovis shareholders, 11% collective growth SPAC shareholders, 14% pipe investors, 4% sponsor shares. Let's take a look at the valuation. The company is targeting to sell around 581,000 LiDAR sensors of level 2 through level 4 until 2025. The company is expected to be EBITDA and free cash flow positive as well at that time. They are targeting a revenue of $581 million and a free cash flow of $75 million. If the company is able to achieve this level of growth until 2025, the market will stop looking at Innovis as just as a LiDAR company but more of an autonomous leader. The valuation multiples would definitely be very generous. This is especially true since level 4 and level 5 autonomy would be on the cusp of realization. With all the data collected and the advances in perception software and solid state LiDAR sensor. So if they are evaluated at a revenue multiple of 15, that would give the company a valuation of $581 million multiplied by 15 which is $8.715 billion divided by the shares outstanding of $140 million. That gives a valuation of $62.25 per share by 2025. There are a few risks that need to be pointed out here. Since many of the markets in which Innovis is competing are new, it's very difficult to estimate the customer adoption rates and the long-term growth. So many of the revenue projections that we are seeing here may not actually be realized into tangible revenues. The company is burning around $68 million of cash per year. The LiDAR technology is not seen as a game changer by Tesla and GM, who are pioneering their own camera and radar-based sensors. There is also an influx of other companies trying to capture the LiDAR market. The only way the LiDAR sensor will not become a commodity is by the perception software. The company that can capture the most amount of data by driving billions of miles and refining the machine learning algorithms will ultimately be the winner of the autonomous vehicle market. I hope you found the video informational. Hit the like button if you agree. I have analyzed Lumina technologies and you should see the video here appear on the end screen. And I hope to see you in that video. Take care.